sehen noch den Applaus. Let's hope for him. Go. This is a story about a walk I took in a place called Nature's Valley, which is on the east coast of South Africa. I had been staying in a house with my family, but they had left and I was waiting for some friends to come and pick me up to go to a place called George where I was going to have an, or attend an Aikido seminar. I had a whole day on my own in Nature's Valley, so I decided to walk around the lagoon. So I started walking down the beach, and at the mouth of the lagoon, I timed it carefully so that at the mouth of the, I reached the mouth of the lagoon at low tide. I waded through the water, and at the other side I sat down on the bank of the lagoon to put my boots back on, and then I got up and I headed off down the path along the lagoon through the trees. I'd been walking for about 10 minutes when I realized I had left my sunglasses on the back. So I turned back, went back along the path, found my sunglasses on the bank, looked down at the water which was now racing into the lagoon quite strongly, and then turn back and walk back along the path inland along the edge of the lagoon. I'd walk for about 15 minutes when I saw something ahead of me on the path, something big. And my first thought was, it's a bear, even though we have no bears. It took me a moment to realize that it was a great big baboon prowling down the track on his all fours. My first thought was to turn back. The path ran along the edge of the lagoon and on the other side of the path there was thick forest right down to the edge of the path. So there was no way of stepping off the path anywhere. I hesitated and then I remembered that the tide was coming in. And that by the time I walked back to the beach, I might easily not be able to wade across the mouth of the lagoon. There was nothing for it but to carry on. By this time I could see that behind the big baboon there was a large family, <laughs> including medium-sized baboons and tiny baboons, maybe 30 baboons, all in all, coming up the track behind him. So, feeling extremely anxious, I tried to focus my energy down my side of the track. He was walking into the jeep track I walked in one rut, he walked in the other, and slowly but steadily we approached each other. I didn't meet his eye, didn't look at him directly, instead I looked past him, down the edge of the lagoon, along my side of the track. We came closer and closer, and then at the last minute, we were almost about to meet, he simply stepped off the track into the trees, and in that instant every other baboon behind him vanished into the trees with him. And I walked on round the end of the lagoon and came to the end of my walk. Thank you. <laughs>